Hi, this video is going to address all those individuals that are in the United States right now on work visas that are legally here and nobody is talking about them during COVID-19. What happened to them? Why aren't they being discussed? Why aren't they an important piece of this puzzle that we're trying to work through? Well, I'm going to talk about them in this video because they deserve to be talked about. Hi, I'm Andrea Shev, and I'm the managing attorney at Shev Law Group in Los Angeles, California. I've been doing immigration law for over 17 years, and I think I can speak very frankly about this issue that's arising and that I feel very strongly about. I watch the news every day, and I never see ever any conversations or discussions about all the non-immigrant legal people working in the United States that are possibly being affected by COVID-19. Well, let's be frank. Everybody's being affected by COVID-19, but this community is not being addressed. They're not being talked about and no one's talking about how we can help them in this time. So I'm going to talk about them. I want everyone to know that they're here and we need to do something for them also. And I want people to understand that these are people that are here legally on visas that companies have either sponsored or they pay for themselves because they're extraordinary individuals here doing extraordinary things in the United States. These are our professors. These are scientists. These are engineers. These are teachers in schools. These are entertainers on our live stages. These are entertainers on our big screen. These are just average people that are working in marketing or analytics across the United States that are in fields that we desperately needed them to be in, that we can't fill with our own U.S. citizen employees. These are people that make our economy what it is. These are the people that make this country better than it was without them. These are students that graduate from our best universities that we gave jobs to in the United States to work here so that intellectual capital stays in the United States and doesn't return back to their home countries. These are people that we need to nourish and care for and take care of because I don't hear anyone talking about it in the news. I don't hear anyone discussing them anywhere on any platform. Now, I do think it is important to talk about the undocumented community, but I think it's just as important to talk about the documented community, the community that's here that needs support also. I mean, we're talking about people that are on H-1B visas and E-3 visas that are paying into the system of unemployment. They pay their taxes and they don't get to collect unemployment if they're laid off. Do you understand that? Isn't that crazy? I am here in the United States working on a work visa, paying into the system through my paychecks every month or bi-monthly, and I don't even get to collect unemployment. How can that be? How can that be? We need to do something about this. We need to at least create some kind of safe harbor due to COVID-19 for this period of time to safeguard them from not going out of status and being able to be here temporarily without having the risk of being illegal in the United States. Just for a period of time. We're not talking about indefinitely. So I think we need to make sure that we understand here that we're talking about a community that is contributing to society. And if we send them back to their home countries, then our companies are going to have to spend thousands, if not millions of dollars to try to bring these people back in. Because when things get back to normal, everyone's going to be going back to work. And the jobs that we needed filled before, we will need to fill again. We don't have more people coming out of the universities to fill those jobs right now. We need these individuals to come in and stay here temporarily to fill those positions until our universities are able to send out or to provide the workforce that we need to carry this industry. Also, what about our entertainment industry? No one worries about that. We're not, we're not anxious to go back to seeing live concerts and shows on the Vegas stages. Of course we are. And a lot of those people are non-immigrants. Why don't we take care of them? Don't give them necessarily unlimited funds. I'm not asking for you to provide for them hundred percent, but at least provide them a safe harbor so they can be in the country and not have to worry about their status for a period of time until all this passes. And also they should be able to collect some level of unemployment if they paid into the system. They should be able to benefit on some level since they are also participants in the tax system in the country. These people pay their taxes every year. These people pay everything that they're supposed to pay in the United States. They should be able to benefit on some level like we do. 
at least temporarily during this unprecedented time that we're going through right now. We need to think of them also. The news media needs to focus not just on the undocumented community, but they need to focus on the documented community. The mayors, the governors in this country need to focus on who's providing services in their country that are documented individuals that need assistance during this horrific time because they don't get the benefits that we get. They don't get the benefits that we get. And I keep saying that over and over because people think for some reason that they do, but they don't get those benefits that we get. They have to be very careful what kind of benefits they take from the government because it could affect them in the future with other legal applications that they're gonna put in front of the government. So we need to also look at them we can't just look at a community of the undocumented. We have to look at the documented too and not forget about them when we're putting these pieces of this puzzle together to try to figure out how to get through COVID-19. The idea is not just to send everybody home. The idea is to make sure that we maintain the good things that we had in this country so when this passes, we can go back to the way things were. And we know it's gonna be a new normal, and we know that we need to get people back to their jobs, but not only do we need to get people back to jobs that were US citizens in jobs here or graduating from universities, but we need to get people back into jobs that we needed them for because we didn't have enough people to take those jobs to begin with. This is a critical piece of our economy. It's a critical piece of our fabric in the United States, and we need to nurture it, and we need to start talking about it. Please, I beg you, Contact your congressmen, talk, contact your mayors, contact your governors, contact your representatives, someone so they don't forget about this community that's here suffering along with all of us. We're all in this together. We're all here going through this worldwide, not just in the United States. So let's nurture the people here that were providing for us before and not let them leave and not be able to bring them back when we absolutely will need them. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for supporting them, and please don't forget about them. They're a critical piece of our fabric in the United States. Subscribe to my channel. There'll be more videos coming out. I love to talk about these subjects because I think that it's important and it's critical that someone talks about these subjects too. Not just the negatives out there. Let's talk about the positives out there in immigration. Have a great day.